I'm Ryan George, a fellow freshman at UMKC. I'm a physics major, but I clearly have a passion in art. Art to me is extremely important because it's a way of expressing myself. Um, for example, I do hands. Hands are known to be one of the most difficult things in art, at least what I've been told. Art to me is extremely important. It is both a getaway and an escape, and I love to express myself, and the best way for me is art. So as far as um, beginning art goes with my hands, this was actually my first hand I ever attempted. And I love looking back at it because I get to see my improvement and like the type of lines and style in it that I still use to this day. And even though this was drawn about two years ago, after the hundreds of more of hands, I've improved a lot. Whenever I was making hands in the first like year and a half, because I started about two years ago, um, all I ever used was pen and ink and then like sometimes graphite with like pencils. And this piece right here, which is still unfinished, I started, I want to say six months to a year ago. I kind of forget um, when I started it, but this is the first hand I ever painted or started painting. And you can sort of see like in this, since it's not finished, the processes that I make and like the stages of painting that I do. And I usually start off with like a light base color that's like sort of uniform with the whole hand. And like for this one, it was a light pinkish, like with a little bit of red and purple tones in it. And then I'll start to like actually go in depth. And that's the stage I'm on right now is where I add a little bit of like depth over here and like right here with like darker colors. And then I also did like a little bit of highlights and now I just have to go back and blend everything together. And then I always paint the hand first in most situations, well like first the background. And then I'll paint the hand and I'll paint miscellaneous stuff. And for this one, I still have to paint like the sleeve on it. And then I just do all the processes over again. And then I also have to paint the paintbrush. And so it's pretty fun to do. Like there's a lot that goes into it. <laughs> on a lot of artwork I make, um, I sort of repurpose canvases in the sense of, um, I will start a painting and like make a base. And then I decide I do not like it at all. Like I will hate something I make. And so what I end up doing is like, you can't really see it too well, but um, I had something all over this canvas. I did not like it at all. So I went over with this like pistachio color and like I repurposed it and then I made a hand over it and everything started to work out really well. I do it a lot. And like, for example, in this piece, um, I did it on a, a piece of wood and it's like a smooth piece of wood. And like sometimes I have to sand down wood for it and I repurpose things in that sense, in that fashion quite a bit. But over the two years I've been making hands, um, I have improved significantly, at least in my own opinion. Um, for example, this is the first hand I did. For me, I see it as a little messy. And by a little, I mean a lot. Um, and then this is the most recent hand that I've worked on. And artistically speaking, I've carried over a lot of things from this original, um, from this original hand, such as all my line work and everything I do in here, and like all of this little almost unnecessary detail, I sort of stem back to all of this like random lines, like dots and stuff. And it's all my beginning art has like made its way to like show in my um, new and like relevant art. take you on a journey through some of my hands. We got the spider inspired one, a watercolor hand I've done. And then this is the only hand I have ever made that isn't my own. And this is my mom's hand because she challenged me saying that all hands are the same looking. And I told her, no mom, all hands are not the same. We have different lines. And like you can even see um, how my mom's hand versus my own hand. And it's like, this is a lot of detail work and like, I focus on the lines of my hand versus when I focus on lines of my mom's hand. They're completely different lines. Um, and like a pen work hand I did, a hand where I was practicing shadow work and shadows. This is a hand I did with one line and with a pen. I didn't sketch it out with pencil or anything. It sort of just turned out the way it is and I kind of made a little abstract in there. And then this one over here is really interesting and it's super textured because um, I did this whole thing with the toothbrush. Like every little 
bit and piece in here I made completely with toothbrush. Mainly, like, you can see how I use the back of the toothbrush and, like, scrape the paint like a palette knife. And that was super fun to do. And here's a little bit more of an abstract hand, more practice with shadows. 